Maddie's missing having friends for tea with the lockdown. So we decided to read a story all about having someone rather unusual over for dinner. So our story choice for today then, Monday 27th of April. Did you guess it? Maddie Sit was the tiger who came to tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because it isn't his day to come. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Huh? And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun, he ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk drug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. I think Maddie would eat all these things if she had the chance. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Imagine that, turning the tap on and having no water. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten all of it. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all of the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to the cafe. So they went out into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. And they had lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. And look, there's the tiger playing a trumpet and it's playing a tune that says, goodbye. 
I hope you enjoyed the story. Perhaps you could have a tea at home and invite some of your family for the special tea um, that live with you. Or perhaps you could have a little picnic in your garden and make a special tea for that. Um, Maddie and I will see you again soon for another story. Bye bye.